children and welcome to another maths lesson together. Today we're going to be learning how to divide numbers by four. That's the same as finding one quarter of a number. And we're also going to be learning how to divide numbers by eight, which is the same as finding an eighth of a number. In our last lesson, we learned how to multiply by four by doubling twice and how to multiply by eight by doubling thrice. I wonder whether you can predict if you know how to do these two calculations, do you think you might be able to predict how you would do the inverse, how you would divide by four and divide by eight? So let's think about dividing by four first. What does it actually mean? It means dividing something into four equal parts or it means you're finding one quarter of something. I'm going to fold my piece of paper into quarters. Look carefully at what I'm doing because that's going to help us learn a mental method for dividing by four or finding a quarter of something. Here's my hole and to, to fold it into quarters I'm going to fold it like this first and fold it like this next and if I open it out I've just folded it, divided this piece of paper into quarters. What did I do to do that? I folded it in half and then I halved it again. So to divide by four, I halved and halved again. I halved twice. So I wonder, what do you think I need to do to divide a number into eight equal parts or to find an eighth of a number? Let me show you with my piece of paper again. So I folded it in tw half twice and that's given me quarters. If I fold those four quarters in half again, how many equal parts do you think I will have now? I folded those four quarters, each of them, into half again. Let's have a little look. What fraction have I created? I've now created eighths. I've got eight equal parts. How many times do you think I halved my piece of paper to make eighths? Watch again. One, two, and three. So when I divide by eight or find an eighth of a number, we halve it three times. We halve the number thrice. We're now going to work out two calculations. We're going to look at 40 divided by four and 40 divided by eight. And I'm going to use the number rods to show you again how we can use halving to help. This bar is going to represent 40, the dividend. I showed you on my piece of paper how to divide by four or finding a quarter by halving and halving again. So I'm going to do that with my bar. I'm going to halve it to begin with. So each half is worth 20, because I know half of 40 is 20. To find a quarter, I need to halve my halves. So each of these pink bars is worth a quarter. To find one quarter, I need to halve that half. Half of 20 
is 10. So 40 divided by 4 is 10. To carry on and to divide that same number by 8, I need to halve each quarter, like I did with the piece of paper. So each of these white bars now is worth an 8. 8. 8 of them fit in that blue bar, that dividend. So to find the value of that 8, I need to halve this quarter. I need to halve the 10. Half of 10 is 5. So there you can see how we can use halving to divide numbers by 4 and how to divide numbers by 8. Let's work through these calculations together. We're going to start off by doing 100 divided by 4. That means we're finding one quarter of 100. And we've learned to do that, we need to halve and halve again. We're going to halve twice. Remember to make jottings to help you. So half of 100, that's 50. And we've got to halve again. We learned half of 50 last week. Half of 50 is 25. So 100 divided by 4, it gives us a quotient of 25. 25 is 1 quarter of 100. Moving on, 840 divided by 4. Let's half and half again. Half of 840, what do you think it's going to be? You try. What did you get? Half of 840 is 420. Now we need to halve this number. Half of 420. You have another go at halving that three digit number. What did you get this time? That's right, the quotient is now 210. So 840 divided by 4 is 210. So 210 is 1 quarter of 840. Now let's divide by 8. We've learned to divide by 8 or to find 1 eighth of a number, we have to halve it 3 times. Let's start halving. Half of 120. Well, half of 12 tens, that's 6 tens, 60. Half it again. Half of 60 is... That's right, it's 30. And we need to halve it one more time. Half of 30, we learned this last week too. Half of 30 is 15. So 120 divided by 8 equals 15. 15 is 1 eighth of 120. Let's move on to the final one. 200 divided by 8 or what's an eighth of 200? Let's get halving. One half of 200, that's 100. Halve it again, that's 50. And halve it for the third time, half of 50 is 25. So 200 divided by eight gives us a quotient of 25. 25 is an eighth of 200. I hope that's helped you to learn that to divide by four, we halve and halve again, which is the inverse to multiplying by four, when we double and double again. And you've also learned that to divide by eight, we halve thrice. We halve three times, which is the inverse, the opposite 
of multiplying by 8. When we multiply by 8, we double thrice three times. Well done for working hard, everybody. Look at your home learning sheet to see what calculations you're going to calculate now. Bye-bye, everybody.